What's up, my brothers? What's up, people? You already know, this is what? Motherfucking Rikers Island Stories, the AKA K Solo Show. What's up, people? You're about to say players. <laughs> anyway, you guys remember, a couple months back, I did a video, and, and, and I think the video, the name of the video is why you should not look out for somebody while you're in jail or why you should not look out for your man while you're in jail, something like that. I remember that I got like about, I think it was like, when I think it went up to 7,000. It went to 7,000, 8,000 so far, you know, views and stuff like that. People that saw the the the, the continent was like about seven, 8,000, if I remember. Anyway, this, is, this story that I'm about to say is something like that but with a little bit more drama. You understand what I'm saying? And this and this is why I tell you guys out there, if you know somebody from the streets and he gets locked up, and I'm talking about if you know the person from the streets and, and you really tight with him, if you really tight with him, you understand what I'm saying? If something happens to him, like if he got a beef or something like that, it's up to you to think about: Should I look out for my man, or should I not look out for him and let him see what and let me see what he's gonna do first? Sometimes you could use that, but if he's your man and this house that you in and you know people ready, niggas don't fuck with you. All you gotta say, yo, that's my man, and niggas will respect that. Dudes will respect that. If 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 if. if they violate your man again. That means they don't have no respect for you. Then that means they're not they're not scared of you. You they that means that they don't find you threatened at. I mean, you don't threaten them at all if they disrespect your man twice. Why you tell them the first time not to do it? You understand what I'm saying? Now it's a disrespect towards you. Now, if you know the dude out there, like here and there, I say no. I say wait, wait to see what he's gonna do first. And it's like that in the streets also. You understand what I'm saying? Because this story is about that. This happened a couple of years back. This happened in 183rd in Davidson. 183rd in Davidson. That's when the shit was out there pumping. That's when niggas was selling. You had like about, you had like about 20 people selling different name, um, um, drugs out there. Name brand. You already know they selling that dog food. And, you know, Dog food, downtown, whatever you want to call it. White people call it downtown. We call it dog food and all that crazy shit. So you guys already know. So they had like 20 dudes selling dog food out there with different names and different, all that crazy shit. Now, one day, now, right in the block, they had a Jamaican dude that he used to sell weed. And the weed that he used to sell was banging. So one day, it was like about... I said like about one o'clock, like about one o'clock in the in the afternoon. So I go over there, right? And I'm, you know, I'm 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 going over there. I'm, you know, buy, buy, I'm going buy my little two dime bags, you know, go back home, roll up, smoke a L, and break out. You know, the rest of the weed I want to keep in the house. So I go to the block. I go over there, no problem. Now I'm seeing regular people out there. Now I'm not familiar with the people out there. I don't really know them. That's like about three blocks, four blocks away from where I live at. I don't really know those people. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I just know them as me going by, buying some trees, and that's it, and I'm out. You feel me? Plus, my brother-in-law, that was my brother-in-law back in that time, he used to scramble over there too, but he was not there that day. And a lot of people did not know that he was my brother-in-law. You feel me? So anyway, I go to the spot. I'm going to the spot. You know what I'm saying? I go see the Jamaican dude. I go see him. I go buy him. Give him 25 I mean, give him the $20. He gives me the two down bags. You feel me? So I'm talking to him for a couple of minutes. Then I turn around because I'm about to leave. But when I turn around, I see this dude that I know from Manhattan. I know this dude from Manhattan from this club that I used to work as a bouncer. I'm seeing this dude outside talking to this black kid. Uh, what was the black kid's name? I think the black kid's name was Lindell. Lindell, Lindell, something like that. Anyway, I see him talking to Dookie. So I cross the street, and I'm on my way home, but I cross the street to say hello to the Spanish kid that I know from Manhattan, and also the black kid, because I've seen him here and there. But when I go, I, I tell the black kid, yo, what's up? You know, he looks at me like, what's up? So I look at the, at the Spanish kid. His name was um, Gianni, Gianni, Louis, no, Gianni, Gianni. His name was Gianni. So I look at Gianni and say, yo, what's up, kid? You know, me and Gianni, I know Gianni like here and there, like when he used to go to the club and that was it. 
You know, like, what's up? Bye-bye. Break out. That's, that was it. And one time I had to throw him out because he was drinking too much and I had to throw him out the club and shit like that. But I let him back in the following week. You know, he didn't start nothing. But anyway, he's talking to the kid, right, to Lindell. So I say what's up to Johnny, whatever. When, once I'm finished, Lindell turns. He says, yo, yo, do no solo. Yo, solo, do you know this dude real good? And I looked at him and I said, what's up? Why, are you going to put him to work? Now, Lindell was throwing some D out there, and I, I believe he was the manager, whatever the fuck he was. He had the D, and he was going to put Gianni to, to to work. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I tell him, why, you want to give him some work? He looked at me and said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you know him back then. I said, yo, listen, I don't, I know him, but I don't know him. He said, what you mean? I said, well, I know him because he goes to the club where I work at. That's how I know him. But if you're going to put him to work, that's on you. I don't really fuck with him like that. So, you know, I don't know. So, I mean, the dude is okay. He's good. But it's up to you. Boom. That's how I left it. So, I gave a pound to Gianni. I'll see you later. Boom, boom. Then I look at him and say, yo, if, if, my, if this man gives you something, don't fuck up. He's like, nah, nah. So, I ain't going to fuck up, man. I ain't going to fuck up. You know me. And I look at him like, okay. So, I tell him, yo, I'll see you later. Me and him, you know, we, like, what's up? High five, whatever. We shake hands. Y'all see you later. Whatever the fuck we did, we shake hands. High five, whatever the fuck we did. Boom, my bams. Okay. I come back. I come back like about three hours. Three hours later, I come back because one of the bags weed that I bought, I lost it. I lost it. So I had to go buy another one. So when I'm going over there to buy it, right? I see Lindell and Gianni arguing. Bam! I go and I buy the weed from Jim from Ross, the Jamaican dude. Put the weed in my pocket. Cross back the street. I go when I when these two are arguing, I go and I look, and this nigga Gianni tells me, yo, yo, solo, right? Tell him, man, tell him I'm a good motherfucker. I say, yo. What the fuck happened? What's up? Something they'll say, yo, this nigga old. This nigga came out short three times. Nah, the nigga came out short three times, bro. Why are you gonna put him at work again? If he came out short to you once, you put him at work again, and I mean you put him back to work and he comes out short again. Why are you gonna put him back to work again, bro? Why are you gonna do that three times? So boom. So next thing you know, I, I, I look at them and I say, yo, your nigga fucked up. And they'll say, yo, that nigga fucked up, man. Yo, I feel like fucking you up. So Gianni, you know, stood up to his ground. So Gianni said, yo, you ain't going to fuck nobody up. So now they're about to fight. Now check this out. Then Dell starts talking to Gianni and say, yo, what you do? Yo, now then Dell goes and punches his finger to Gianni like this. Gianni goes and cuts, catches him in the face, bro. When he catches Lindell in the face, now remember, this is Lindell's block. This is the block that he knows everybody in that block for years since he was a fucking little putt putt. Nigga get hit in his own block. So every you know how motherfuckers are, you know how Spanish dudes and black dudes are, they start gassing shit. Oh shit, yo, the nigga hit you. So now they're going to get ready to fuck this nigga um, Gianni up. So, I forgot the dude that was good. That the I said, yo, chill, man. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, it's let it be a one-on-one. -on -one. So, the dude looked back and he's like, all right, all right. He said, yo, that dude's your man. I said, he's not my man, but I know the dude. Oh. So, they go, they're go, going at it now. Gianni and the devil's going at it. Gianni's getting the best of the devil. Oh, yeah, I, I ain't going to front. Gianni was getting the best out of the devil. So, now, next thing you know, like, Four motherfuckers jumped in. They jumped in. Now Lindell and four of the dudes hitting Gianni. Now, I'm a type of dude. I don't know Gianni like that. But I do know him. So I tell the dudes, I say, I stopped the shit. I stopped it. So Gianni's like this, you know, you know, he's licking his wounds. So, you know, I'm talking to him. Saying, so next thing you know, Lindell comes and says, yo, man, you see, man, this nigga fucked up, solo man. Yo, you should have never told me that nigga was good. So I looked at him, I said, well, I, I never told you he was good, and down. You told me if I know him, I said, yeah, I know him, but not like that. He said, no, you should have fucking told me. Now I see where this is going to now. Because I'm looking at this nigga, and this nigga fucking drinking. 
You got a fucking, uh, I think it was a St. Nines right next to this nigga's hand. So you know the nigga's gargling a whole court by himself. Oh, oh, and by the, might as well. I mean, first of all, the nigga went and dropped like $150 in the floor. You feel me? When, when, when Gianni called him, nigga dropped $150 on the floor. So now that nigga's mad tight, though. Yo, I lost money now, yo. Uh, so I'm saying, yo, it's not my fault. It was your fault. So what that nigga do? Now, mind you, when I'm telling you this shit, I picked up the $150. And I was going to give it to him. When I went to Gianni, everything stopped and all that shit. I was going to go over there. That's when the nigga told me, yo, it was your fault. And that's when I said, yeah, it's not my fault. I never told you to hook this nigga up. You did that. You did that, and down. But the nigga was like, no. Nah. So at that moment, when I turned this to 150 lines, I got in my pocket. I forgot. I forgot. Because now I'm aware of this nigga's drunk. He's going to try to do something because I can felt that I fell in my heart. So what that nigga does, he swings at me, bro. Boom. But lucky me, because I'm on point already. I go down, I ducked it. He swings, and when he, when he swings, he swings so hard and he fucking missed that he goes straight to the floor. Boom! Broke his fucking ribs, bro. Yo, the shit popped out. Like, I, oh, nasty shit. So the next thing you know, a dude caught me. Oh, my. Caught me right in the chin. Now, I'm a little dense days. I'm seeing stars now. You know what I'm saying? The nigga caught me without me knowing it. I mean, without me expecting nothing like that, nigga caught me. So the nigga dazed me a little bit. Son. After that, B, nigga just started jumping on me, bro. Boom, 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 bing, bing, bang, boom. I remember, right? This one dude, God rest his soul, he passed away in a car accident. The nigga went and grabbed the cane. And while I'm like this in front of this one dude, that, you know, one dude's over here pounding me. I'm like this. That I, when I, when I look up like this, I call him with an uppercut. Boom, when I call him with an uppercut, that's when niggas see, yo, this nigga comes and yo, let him go, let him go. When everybody, everybody get off me, when I turn like this, it was too late. Back at that, right here, bro, a fucking crush. Big shit, the wooden jammy, blah, shit broke. When the shit broke, another dude caught me with a cane, bro, right in the head. Toma! Now, again, niggas rush me again, B. Now, while all this shit is going on, yo, let me tell you, for every one fucking punch that I threw, I was getting hit like 15 times, bro. Yo. When I turned around, and I'm, I'm expecting, I'm thinking that they also jumped Gianni. Because when that shit started happening to me, I heard, yo, hit that nigga too, hit that nigga too. So I'm pretty sure they were talking about Gianni. When all this shit's going on, when I finally get, a, you know, that I back up now, I'm, I'm like, I'm in a boxing position now. Like, I'm, I'm like, you know, they let me go. I'm like in a boxing position looking. Gianni's not there, bro. One dude's like this. Yo, this nigga left his sneakers while he was running. Two pair of sneakers, but the nigga just left them be. I don't know how he left his fucking sneakers. But, oh, they took it off him when they jumped him right there in the moment when they would jump me. But the nigga said, yo, the nigga left his sneakers. Look at that nigga ran like a bitch. And again, when I'm like this, bro, this is what I felt be right in my rib. And this is how they broke my ribs, bro. I had two broken ribs, B, okay? Two broken ribs and one broke and one fractured. One of the broken ribs, B, was sticking me in the fucking, um, I forgot how they call that shit. It was sticking me like it was hurting, son. And it was with a fucking bat, B. A dude just came, bro, and, and once again, it was, the, yeah, it was the same dude that hit me with the crush. Came with a bat. And the nigga's dead now, you know, you know, God bless his soul, you know. He died, and two other people died in a car accident. Really, really bad, really bad in the Bronx. So anyway, you know, I don't wish nobody's death. But even if you jump me, I don't wish nobody's death. I will catch you little by little. You know what I'm saying? One by one, I'll catch you guys. So anyway, when the dude just coming like that, I forgot the dude's name, man. Damn, I, I forgot the dude's name, man. He was Dominican. He was Dominican, but he was raised with Puerto Ricans. Choco, Choco, Chael. I think it was Choco or Chael. Most, most most likely like chill. So the nigga caught me done when when he when I see him that he swings the bat. The only defense that I could have done do be is try to put my hands like this, like let the bat hit me in the hand and let it break my hand, but fuck it, but not the ribs. You feeling me? Or not hit me in my lungs or whatever the fuck. So when I go like this, it was too late. When I put my arm, it was too late. Boom! Nigga caught me good. 
But when he caught me, now in the excitement, I turned around and nothing ain't catching me. Throw him out. When, he, when that one that caught me, I picked him up. Now it's time for me to get the fuck out of there now, B. Now I know I'm hurt. Now my ear, when the dude caught me, the, the, one, the one that I grabbed, the last dude that hit me, the shit went, psh, my ear went, fucking, um, how you call that shit? My, my, a busted eardrum. My shit, my ear just went, psh, like fucking like a pressure of air just came out of that motherfucker. So I'm like, you know, I, but then again, I'm not thinking about that because I'm thinking about these niggas hitting me or coming and stab me or something. And to tell you the truth, thank God, I don't think none of these motherfuckers had a knife. Because I would have got stabbed. If they, somebody they would have had a knife, they would have stabbed me. But I know they, they would have been. Niggas hit me with a fucking cane, a crutch, uh, a crutch, a cane, and a fucking bat. And like 20 motherfuckers jumping on me. They would have had a knife, they would have stabbed me, son. So the next thing you know, when I pick up the duel, my thing is, yo, Solo, it's time to go. Stop trying to fight these niggas. Too many motherfuckers on you now. I grabbed the dude. Now, Lindell, I don't know where the fuck Lindell was at, yo. Now, the dude that I grabbed, boom, I picked him up. Boom! Like, like, like a little quick pickup and throw him over. When I threw him over, nigga landed on his back. Now, when I get up like this, a dude with a bottle, uh, with a bottle of beer, swings it. Caught it right there in my hand, broke in my hand. Matter of fact, let me see, right here, right here. Well, I'm always short. Right here, I got a scar. Right here, it got me a little something, something. Not, not big. And thank God, it was not a vein, not a vein. And it was summertime, so it broke in my hand. Pocket that it broke. Now I'm turning around to run this way. I'm going down now, down to Creston. But when I'm when I start taking that turn, I'm, I'm gonna say, like, okay, let me go to Creston now. Like six, seven of them being like surrounded, like they flank me. So that means flank means they have me from the front, they have me from the back. So now I'm in, I'm in the middle. One of the dudes come out of nowhere thinking he was macho nigga shit. He comes out of nowhere trying to square up with me. Another dude say, yo, no, 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 no. So, so I'm like this, right? So nigga squares up. So when he swings, I backed up. And with my leg, I stepped on his toe. Boom. So the nigga fell. Black at that. You know, like I, I, when, I, when he swung, I moved and I stepped on his toe. So when he's trying to move, he black at that he fell. That's an old trick. Actually, that's like a karate trick if you, if you look it up. You step on a man's toe. When the nigga swings, you step on his toe. And when he backs up like that, he, he, at 100, 99% of the chance he's going to fall. Trust me. So, boom, he falls. Back at that. When he falls, I just did some crazy shit. Me. I ran like this. Zoom. So, I jumped. Up, they didn't expect me to jump on top of the car. I jumped on top of the car. Boom, 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 and I jumped down. Boom. Like the other side. So, now I can't run that fast, dude. So, now I'm running. Niggas are right there. At, right, right there behind me, son. Behind me. The dude with the bat that hit me with the crutch and then with the bat, the nigga was, all oh, I was worried about him. And he was running after me too, son. The only thing that I felt was the bat and like about two or three bottles. <laughs> nigga threw bottles at me, threw the bat at me, and out and stupid me, I didn't grab the bat. But what I was going to do with the bat? Be able to grab that shit, okay, hit somebody, nigga, they all would have rushed me. No chance. You know what I'm saying? So I run all the way down to 183rd. I run all the way down to 180th. Now, that's my block. Almost to my block. You feeling me? Almost to my block. Now, if I would have got to my block, I would have run upstairs real quick, get little Bam Bam, and, and you know, whatever. But, where, where I live at, there's, almost where I live at, there's a, there's a fireman station. Fireman station, son. That's what saved me. Because the fireman was outside having a barbecue. So in, in the back, in the back, back of the back of the fireman house, they got like a little thing, like a little where they could play throw basketball. Uh, they got like a little thing where they do little picnics and shit like that. So thank God they were doing a little picnic. It was a bunch of like about nine, ten um, firemen. So you know, I ran right through them, and I, and I grabbed to the gate and I stood like this, like I was tired, son. You know what I'm saying? So I was like these motherfuckers ain't gonna jump me with the firemen here, and if they do jump me, I'm gonna stay right here. You know, the fireman's job is to call the police, and I know they're going to jump into You know what I'm saying? I know they're not going to see a nigga that me get hurt like that. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do that. You know, so I stood. They smelled it. They're like, no, nah, we ain't going to go over there. Mad cameras. You know, the fire truck got mad cameras. That time, they didn't have cameras like they had now. They didn't have all these cameras like they got now, son. So, you know, I would have been twisted, son. They would have got me, son. Like I said, bro, look what I have, bro. Two broken ribs. A, a two broken ribs and a fractured. Okay? One of the ribs was sticking me, 
And like once again, I forgot the name of the spot that the, the, the thing that they did some little crazy name. It was sticking it, sticking it. And if we would have kept that like that, we would have punched a hole, and my lung, my lung would have collapsed. Okay, somewhere my my lung would have collapsed, bro. My right lung, cause they broke it right here. Um, I bust the eardrum for like two or three weeks, but I couldn't hear right on this ear, bro. My eye, son, bro. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky don't got nothing on me. My eye, this one I had the right ones like this. The, the the left one was swollen also. I had a cookie right here. Nice big, like it looked like a little bowling ball. Not a bowling ball, a little golf, the golf ball. Just right here, bro. I'm telling you, my shit went out. It was like a golf ball. And this shit like, wow. Um, um, uh, let me see. Well, the rib, the thing, and you already know, bruises all over the fucking place. Where the niggas was hitting me, pounding me out. Yo, son, this is no bullshit. And let me tell you, okay, I looked out for this nigga in a way that let it be. I couldn't see this nigga get drunk, bro. I, even though I don't know him like that, I will feel guilty to know that I left a dude, someone that I know, that I, I don't know him like that, but I know him. I know him. I, I laughed with him a little bit. And, and you know, you know, I work in the fucking bar, I mean the club that he goes hang out every week. So of course you're gonna meet him. You're gonna meet some of his, his some of his girlfriends or whatever the fuck. You understand what I'm saying? But it was not something that was loyal. So, but then again, I couldn't just see myself just walk away. Especially when the nigga said it was my fault and I told the nigga, yo, I don't yo, I don't know him like that. I know the dude like he and him there goodbye. But it's any business, I'm not no, I don't know him like that, bro. Oh, you know, all right, yeah, but you know, I think he's gonna, he gonna be all right. So I said, yo, just do your thing. When I leave, I tell this nigga, yo, don't fuck up. And this nigga gonna say, nah, it was because of me. Fuck you, B. And I didn't, yo, all that shit, bro. The nigga got pounded out by Luigi. And then he, he broke his hand trying to hit me. I just turned around. That nigga, I mean, I just ducked, whoop. That nigga tried to hit me so hard that nigga just fucked up. And I know he was drunk, too. That's why he did that shit. And let me tell you, out of all those dudes, that jumped me that day. I would, I would, I got another story about one of them. What I did to that motherfucker, B. I put you like that. What I did to that motherfucker, I tortured that nigga. That's another show. I'll probably tell you show, that show tomorrow. Now, listen to this shit. After I got all my shit broken, um, like about almost, it was Halloween. Halloween. It was Halloween. I remember because I remember that I was in the store and there was kids with candy with masks on. So that was, it was Halloween. Halloween. Now listen to this shit, right? Now, now Lindell, I heard he broke his arm. He had a cast for a minute. He broke not not the arm by here, the the wrist broke that shit. I remember that shit popped out of the skin. Oof. Anyway, so you know I think he got you got two bones like this and I don't know, but she's a cat. Anyway, nigga, she was twisted. So. One night, it was Halloween, son. Where I live at, at that time, was 180th and, um, 180th and Morris. You feel me? Morris, between Morris and, God, what was the name of that block? Morris and, Morris and Burnside. Between Morris and Burnside, I used to live there, right? Now. What happened was that, that day, that was two of my people's, no, three of my people's, me, Al Capone, uh, 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 shit, me, Al Capone, Wilson, Wilson was a blinder than a bat, blinder than me, so that nigga had glasses, that nigga could, still couldn't see, at least I had contacts on, you feel me, I always had contacts on, you know, ever since the car accident, so anyway, when I got contacts on, son, I'm in the street, I got 2020, son, you feel me, so anyway, so me, Al Capone, Al Capone was driving, Wilson, blind that, we just call him Wilson the bat, cause he was blind, me, uh, and, 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 oh man, uh, oh man, and Luigi, Luigi, he was a huge boy, just like me, Luigi, don't get it confused with Gianni, G Gianni was that bitch ass nigga that ran on me, I mean, you know what I'm saying, I mean, come on, now, he should, he should have stood there, bro, nigga left his fucking sneakers like a little slut, and I, and I smacked the shit out that nigga, B, when I went back to work, smacked the shit out that nigga, 86 that nigga for life, he couldn't go back to the club, B. I said, yo, right in the fucking dance room, B. Back at that. Yo, but what happened? Yo, motherfucker, you left me there, bro. You left me there. 
you, yo, if we're not meant for my man Tiny, Tiny was, you know, his name was Tiny, but the nigga was like, you know, big taller than me, but the nigga was like six, seven. Tiny said, yo, get the fuck down by the neck. Just walked him out the club. Walked him out the club, son. Anyway, fuck that nigga. He walked him out the club. That was, but don't let you guys know that I smacked the shit out of him, B. Now, Halloween. I want my, my three mans, me, uh, once again, Wilson, Al Capone, and Luigi. We chilling. I got, I got my baby with me, son. I got Bam Bam with me. Feel me? Beautiful nine that I had back in the day. Gorgeous nine, son. Little short nose nine, beautiful 16 shotty. Boom. I go, we take out my house, we, we leave. Now, when I'm taking off, I'm going up 181st. Remember, this happened 184th in Davidson. So now, this motherfucker, now, I'm going up 181st like this, and we made a right. Well, we made that right. This is 181st in Wharton. Three more blocks using us, and we, we in the block now. You feel me? Now, why I didn't go spray the block? Because the dude that was running the block told my brother-in-law that, that back in that day, back in that day, who's my brother-in-law, his name was Tony. Tony, he told Tony, yo, tell your man, your brother-in-law not to come over here and shoot shit up. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, there's a lot of kids that be running out here. So, you know, because Tony told this nigga, yo, this nigga gonna come back, bro. This nigga's king. He gonna come back with some peeps. So he was like, yo, bye, bye, bye. You know what I'm saying? And then again, you know, I'm living over here. I don't want to start no war, you know what I'm saying? Because I got my mom living there, you know what I'm saying? Me, I could break out. But I still got my mom's, my brother Pete, my brother Frank, he's coming over here, stays there. So, you know, I, I ain't wanted to make nothing big, but I was like, I just gave a, a, a thing like, yo, I wanted Lindell. Everybody knew that. I'm telling you, you wait, you get. So that day, <laughs> we take that right, excuse me, the left. Now, there's a store in the corner of 181st Morris. I mean, Walton. I stop. I get out the car. Me and Luigi. We're going to buy some beer. Bam! I get into the store. I see this tall motherfucker just like Nintel. Nintel was like about 6'4, six, 6'5, six, taller than me. Slim. I looked at this motherfucker and then with a little cast. I see him with a little thing like this. He got a little thing like this protecting his, his wrist. Now he's holding this shit like this. He got like a little thing, you know, how they hold their, their hands. I see it from the back. And I'm like, yo, this could be fucking in there. I'm like, my head's like, oh, bling, 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 bling. It is him, it is him. Broken arm, tall, slim. Bro, pulled out, bam, bam. One. I went and I tapped the back of the neck like this. Plop, plop, plop. Nigga turned around. And I said, what's up now, Bobby? That nigga looked at me, bro. This word to my mother, bro. That nigga went like this. Yo. Yo, Solo, man, I'm sorry, man. I was drunk, man. I was fucking drunk. I'm looking at the nigga while this nigga's copping the plea. Now, my man, Luigi, told the owner, yo, don't call him no police in Spanish. So don't call the police. This nigga jumped my man. My man got really, really bad hurt because of this motherfucker. The whole block jumped him. So the Dominican dude was like, oh, yeah? And, and, and yo, the nigga said, yo, don't call the cops, man. So there was two people working there. The dude that's outside watching shit and the dude in the cashier, man. The man said, yo, I don't got nothing to do with this, but please don't do nothing to him in here. So my man said, if we're going to do something to him, we're going to do something to my side. But don't, you know, in Spanish, the man said, please, not in here. Boom. Then Dell was begging me. Now, then Dell was this other dude. I forgot the dude's name. I think they used to call him Shorty, Shorty Shrimp or something like that. Some small nigga's name says Shorty or Shrimp, something like that. Then he comes out, he gassed himself. Now, I was trying to think, when I'm talking to Lindell, I'm trying to think if this nigga was, had something to do with, I mean, if he had something to do with me too, getting hurt that day. The niggas that jumped me, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to put a picture to see if he's, if he's, if he, was, if, he, if he was there. But he wasn't. I couldn't catch nothing about him, you know, no flashback with Shorty. It's all about Lindell now. Yo, this is word to my mother again, B. This nigga's begging me, bro. Begging me. Oh, don't shoot me, man. Please, man. Yo, yo please, man. Please, man. I got a kid, man. man. But, yo, word to my mother, son. Bro, I remember that I took the gun and I put it to the other side like this, right? I was going to hit him with the gun. But I said, nah, I'm not going to hit this nigga with the gun. I looked at my man, you, Luigi. I said, Luigi, bust the nigga in the mouth. Luigi just came out of nowhere. Oh, my. Caught that nigga. Nigga went down on his knees. I came up to that nigga and I kicked that nigga right in the face. Nigga hit himself in the glass. I remember the glass cracked. Bah! You know, in the glass, the glass cracked, bro. So I'm pretty sure the nigga was bleeding. So he's like, oh, oh, so the shorty, or shrimp, whatever the fuck that nigga is, that nigga's like, and the cashier ain't doing nothing. 
Now I go in the nigga's pocket. Nigga had about four or five hundred. Give me that shit. Chain. Give me that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I was mad, bro. I was mad. You ain't, yo, you ain't not supposed to jump me like that, bro. And for something that, you know what I'm saying? Come on, son. You jumped me, bro. You broke my fucking ribs. Because of you, my wrist got broken. Bust the ear drum. Come on, son. Fuck out of here. You think I'm going to let you rock? But I didn't shoot the nigga. I did not shoot him. I did not shoot him because you know why? Too many witnesses, too many cameras. And that was not my thing to do something like that to somebody. I cannot do something like that to somebody. Because, you know, the only way I would do that, bro, is somebody try to hurt me. And then I'll do it. And that is self-defense. You feel me, yo? Self-defense. Just remember that, bro. Somebody try to hurt you, B. And you come and you got a gun and you shoot them self-defense. They're going to hit you with a gun charge. Oh, no question about that. But at least it's a self-defense, bro. So I couldn't. I couldn't do it to him like that either. And I'm not a fucking killer, bro. I will fuck you up, but I'm not a killer if I don't have to. If my life is not a state. If my life isn't... Oh, yes, I have to. I'm like, I'm pretty sure every man out there will do. Any man out there, every man out there, I don't give a who you are, you will kill for your life and for your family. So please, don't say, oh, this is... this is, And this is not... And I'm not promoting violence. I'm not saying, guys, this is violence. Yo, do this. No, I'm not saying that. No way in the world. No way in the world what happened to me. And I'm telling you guys, yo, if that happens to you, you go, no. But it was something that, it happened. It happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm bipolar, depression, all that shit. Yo, just imagine when I was in the fuck, when I went to the hospital, all those days and weeks, I was thinking about these niggas hurt me. These niggas jumped me. Niggas laughing when I was, you know what I'm saying, when I had to jet. Come on, man. You know? So, and I spared this nigga's life. I spared this life. I spared this fucking life. So, yeah, I took his cheddar. I took his jewelry. Jew. So what? I gave that nigga another life, B. I gave that nigga a second life, bro. I could have took that first one. Feel me? So anyway, yo, what happened to that nigga? He went to the block after all that shit happened. He told my brother-in-law, yo, to Solo, that it's over with. And like a man, yo, I'm sorry. Because, yo, he told my brother, yo, to Solo, I'm sorry. Like a man, I'm sorry. And, and yo, tell him, bro, he didn't kill me, so thank you for that. Yo, the nigga would say, yo, he, he thanked me for not killing this nigga, B. For not killing him. He told my brother, my brother, like, yo, bye, bye. yo, niggas don't want no beef with you over there. They heard what you did in Dell. You know, everybody like, you know, like, I just want the dude to hit me with the bat. He was the second one I wanted. Oh, yeah, but look what happened to him, bro. Car accident. God works in mysterious ways, bro. I ain't doing nothing to him, but God did. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with the case solo, bro. If I don't get you, my man up there will. You feel me? All right? So that's what happens when you look out for someone that you're not really tight with. And once again, I stopped them from jumping in because I felt like I had to. I just couldn't just go and walk away and let these niggas jump in the five, four, the four or five dudes that jumped in when he hit Lindell. And they was going at so it was going to be Lindell with like four other guys, five other guys hitting him. No, I couldn't, I couldn't bear that. I couldn't bear that. So I stopped it. And look what happened. And that nigga had the nerve to run. He could stand right by me, man. Come on, Solo. Because I saw him, got, he got busy with Lindell. But then again, some people, some people can't fight when, they, when niggas get jumped. When they got a bunch of people, some people can't do that. Some people are scared to get jumped. I got jumped so many times, man, that I'm, it's fucking normal to me. I, I'm not lying to you guys, man. That's the thing about being tall. That's the thing about knowing how to fight. That niggas will jump you, bro. Niggas will jump you. No? Anyway, boy, this is your man, K Solo, taking you to a war story that I got. You feel me? That I may tell you. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Real true shit. Don't jump in for anybody. Don't look out for anybody that you really don't know because you don't know if they're going to leave you stuck. So what could you do? Walk away or stand by that dude if you know him. But remember, he's not your man. He's not your boy. He's not your brother. You just know him. Would you let him get jumped or would you stand by him? There's your boy K Solo and this is what? Right, this island story is the AKA K Solo Show. There you go. Now you know. What? What?
Don't ever try to disrespect me. I guarantee you, I will always try to be like the way I am, and I don't give a fuck. God damn, I'm the man. No question. You want to hear a story? That's me. It's something like a little glory, but that's okay. That's the man, and I don't play. So, yo, don't act retarded. You know how to read. Just ask for me. The S-O-L-O. -O. That stands for that kid. K-Solo. Ha! Now you know. All right, kids? Booyah! Catch you later, guys. Enjoy the story.